Hello, welcome back. In this segment, I'm going to talk about how the idea of Knapsack has been used um, in designing a public key cryptography system. This is an interesting idea invented back in 1978 timeframe, Merkel and Hellman. Um, they, uh, they developed this crypto system based on um, Knapsack. Okay, I'll explain what a Knapsack is in this segment. And then I will build upon the foundation step by step. So the Knapsack problem is as follows. Suppose I have say uh, a, a bunch of items. Each item has some weight, okay? Suppose I ask this question, um, can you uh, make say for example, a 30 kilogram out of, out of uh, these items weights, okay? I, I ask, what combination of values from here, right? These are the list of items we have, right? And my goal is to uh, make a 30 kilogram, okay? Say, I wanted to uh, create a, a sack, right? And in, inside the sack, I need to put only 30 kilograms, okay? Uh, how can I do that? It seems to be a simple problem in this case, right? Okay, somehow you scan this li uh, list and then see, okay, maybe I can pick this 20 and this 10, then I have 30. Attack. Um, this is 20 here and then we can also have eight and two, that's also 30. So there are multiple solutions um, possible, okay. So uh, this is basically the knapsack problem. Given a bunch of um, items and the weights, like 10 kilogram, eight kilogram, two kilogram, five kilogram, 20 kilogram, and the target, which is 30 kilogram, <clears throat> you're asking, can I make 30 out of the numbers uh, I have in my list? Okay, <clears throat> so this problem um, turned out to be not that easy to solve if you have many, many items, say you have uh, hundreds and hundreds of items. And this problem is classified as an NP complete problem. Okay, what it means is that if, you, if we find a polynomial time solution to this problem, uh, we are solving many other unsolved problems or, or, or problems that are not known to have polynomial time solution, okay? Those problems are already solved if we solve this efficiently. That's the informal definition of NP-complete, okay? So um, that's the basic introduction of uh, Knapsack, okay? In the next segment, I will explain to you um, how we can turn this hard problem into a cryptographic problem, okay? So um, the problem seems to be much easier to solve um, if the list of items weights are already sorted in a, in a certain format. For example, if you have a super increasing set uh, where each weight, for example, say first weight is five, next weight is say 10, and next weight is say 20, uh, next weight is say 40, and next weight is uh, say 80. This, this set is called super increasing set because each item um, is greater than the sum of all the items weights preceding it. For example, uh, stake 8 to 80. Uh, what are the weights before it? 40 plus 20, 60, 70, 75, right? So 80 is greater than all other items weights. This is called a super increasing set. It turned out that for a super increasing set, uh, we can easily solve this problem, okay? Suppose I have weights like 5, 10, 20, 40, 80, and I ask, oh, can I make a 90 kilogram? You can easily solve this problem, okay? You could say, scan the list from right to the left and stop as soon as you find a weight uh, that is um, the smaller than the value that you are trying to match it up, okay? For example, in this case, 80, is smaller than 90, so 80 must be part of the solution. The reason being, if 80 is not a part of the solution, we do know that the sum of the remaining items um, will be less than 80, so you'll never be matching against 90. Therefore, 80 must be part of the solution. So once you find 80, how much we need to match remaining is 10, right? Yeah, because 90 is the target, this is the target, and 80 is already taken, so we start solving a sub-problem only for this particular set, 5, 10, 20, 40. And we'll search for 10, okay? So 40 cannot be the answer, 20 cannot be the answer, 10, yeah, here it is, 10, matching 10, we are done. So 
we, we can easily solve the, uh, the problem of knapsack once the weight of the um, items are organized in a super increasing order, okay? Um, you, you cannot sort, the, let's, let's go back to the unsorted version. You cannot just simply sort it and uh, solve it like that. All right, um, I, I leave it there. Um, so, so in the next segment, we will talk about how do we make use of this uh, NAFSHAC uh, to prepare a crypto system.